Okay, babies, so it is giving Bohemian Goddess. It is giving, it is literally raining outside of my window, but mentally I am on vacation. I feel like I am feeling like a Puerto Rican. The exotic looks and textures are flowing through my hair today, courtesy of, okay, let me be serious with you guys. Today I've teamed up with Eunice Hair. They sent me over this gorgeous pre-everything water wave lace wig. Now, not only is this a pre-everything water wave lace wig, it also has the wear and go bye bye not technology i'm gonna show you guys all about that i even have some swatches they provided in my package i'll show you later in the video and they included tons of goodies so all of that you'll see in the video you guys already know if your wig is snatched the one place where you'll be clockable first is your sideburns and so they included like this pre-installed adhesive on the sideburn area they even included the extra strip so that you can switch that out as needed and of course i went ahead and did a full baby hair look the sideburns do have that pre-adhesive technology but the front you guys can see how beautiful and melted it is it is a hundred percent glueless there is no gel no spray or anything like that so i love that that i'm able to like peel and stick the sideburns so that they can stay down but the rest of my wig remains glueless i'm gonna jump right into the tutorial be sure to check out all the details including a direct link in the description box for this gorgeous girl here and without further ado let's get right into the video it's your bestie so today i am rocking a very gorgeous wavy texture wig i think this is loose wave let me get the deets for you guys okay yes this is a water wave this is actually a pre everything water wave lace frontal wig i wanted to show you guys the texture look at that texture right there it looks like we're not gonna have to do much at all just spray a little bit of water and we really will be good to go so let's just see about that here is a look at the parting as you guys can see it looks like scalp you don't see like a ton of like knots in there again i always tell you guys whenever you have a wig and the knots are bleached even when they're bleached sometimes you can still see a little thick chunk of something in there and this is very 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 seamless and effortless you can extend the parting space a little bit further back but i just wanted to show you that and then when you remove all of this now we reveal why they call it pre everything so the lace is pre-cut as you guys can see and it has that perfect um like scallop cut to it so that it's not perfect and straight across this is what we call lace camo lace camo Camouflage because this paired with a good lace tint will have your hairline and your lace not going straight across and being blunt where you can see it. It kind of will help to hide it. If that makes any sense. You can also see that the hairline is pre plucked to perfection and then the knots are pre bleached. And this is why we call it pre everything. Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap. As I said, the knots are bleached and that is what that that color that you see there that is from them bleaching the knots for you. So I am so spoiled by Eunice. It's been years. I mean years since I've had to bleach knots myself and I thank them for that extra step when it comes to preparing our units because I mean who really wants to get the wig receive the wig in the mail and have to take it straight to the kitchen and like have to do a step I prefer to not have to do that at all so I love the luxury and this for me is another step here you see these blue little strips they did include some extra in the package so I'll talk more about these later but this is like a pre set adhesive if you will you peel these off and I'll be able to find the wig down on the side so I'm hoping that it is going to fit snug enough that I'm going to put it on and it fits glueless and then just the ear tabs I'll have to bind down because you guys know when a wig is glueless if it's a frontal the ear tabs will still have a little flap and you'll have to bond those down and guess what we don't have to so let's go ahead and put her on also this is what the nape looks like you'll be able to adjust these straps to the center to make it really snug in the back then we have this like gummy texture that kind of like that holds onto your nape really well and then you have these indent indentations here and this is so that you can add an adjustable elastic band they did included in your box so I'll be able to add that I'm not going to add it today I don't think but you guys it's great to have that option to be able to just put that extra support there so let me go ahead and adjust the straps back here I'm going to use my satin scrunchie to push my braids back and put a wig cap on and then we can get started Okay. 
Okay, so this is what the wig looks like on. Let's see if we can pull you guys down just a wee bit. I want you guys to see the top, but I want you guys to see the bottom as much as possible too. This here is the length and it comes like a nice a ways below the boob, you know, without stretching it out. The hair, first of all, feels like light and airy. So it gives a full vibe, but it doesn't feel like, like dense. I don't like dense like where it feels like it's just thick for no reason. It gives full, but again, soft and airy and fun. This is a look at the hairline. Let me scoot back up to you guys a little bit. And what I like is they've been listening. With this one, it's like they listen when we speak because I won't have to cut off any excess lace at all, which literally makes it pre-cut. So nothing has to cut off if it's perfectly around my ears. Before we are able to install, you guys can see my natural edge is kind of peeking through. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of my edge control, lift this out the way and just move these back. And as you guys can see, my edge control is so good that you can use your fingers and it will go back. But I will kind of like work it in because if it just sits on top, it will turn white. If you work it in, it won't. And you guys can see that makes it so that the hairline is super neat. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, now we can go ahead and do the bonding down. So as I mentioned, you don't have to do anything here. We are gonna do some fluffy baby hair. Let's go ahead and pull the hair back. Missing one of each. Oh, I do have a matchy. I have a Tiffany blue one here. And I just like grab the hair, flip it backwards so that it's out the way a little bit. And I'm gonna take a pair of tweezers, lift this back up. Make sure that the wig is positioned how you want it before you bond it down. And then just flip it up so you guys can hear the door. Somebody is playing with me right now. Okay, so what I wanna do is just just take and take one edge and just pull it off you can get rid of that and now this here is adhesive so this here is the adhesive and as you guys can see you can see it there I am gonna spray it and then put this on top and I kind of work it in now the only reason I spray it is because I'm gonna show you again and you'll notice on the opposite side where the little piece of adhesive or the adhesive strip is will bond down but anything above below or around that will not bond down so it's kind of like it'll be like bonded down but there's a little bit of lace in front of that that part will not adhere so I literally just put that there to make sure that everything you know lays down perfectly but the reality of it is that adhesive strip is what's gonna get down because for me personally gluing down the ear tabs with a glueless adhesive like this it always lifts if it's rainy or if it's wet or if I sweat any little thing will make that lift so adding that adhesive here makes it so that it will hold down and then I am going to blow dry on a cool setting Okay, so we are completely bonded down and this is what it looks like. For your viewing pleasure, I can go in and uh, tint the lace, but before we do that, let's just go ahead and make the baby hair because like, why not? And I do wanna remind you guys that the center, I did not bond down. It is still 100% glueless, no product right here, uh, no maintenance right there at all. And again, if you don't like ear tabs to each his own, you can just literally cut those ear tabs off and then the whole thing will pretty much be glueless. I like baby hair, so we're gonna do a little swoop right there and then one on the side to match the other one and then I'm gonna do a sideburn since we got it sis but I'm gonna just apply wax along the entire hairline and I'm gonna put a little bit at the base of my baby hair and sideburns on both sides and again it's lifting here because it is glueless right here now we're gonna use these two hot tools really quickly I'm gonna just use this a little bit to press out the hairline you guys can see it looks perfect and it's fine but I like it to look super fine and like straight just at the root to get like growing out of the scalp and I'm gonna curl these I'm not sure over or under and then we're gonna add the male bell so everything can just lay down and relax while we play with the ends a little little bit.
Okay, I went ahead and did the baby hair. So now this is a great time to go ahead and melt it down. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna go on top of my ear and the reason is because if I go behind my ear, it won't melt here and you want that to melt down as much as possible. <laughs> Ooh, 918. Nine hours, 18 minutes left on this memory card. 918 is my birthday. It's the time my middle daughter, Dakota, was born. It's also my angel number, apparently, because it's the number I see more than any other number. And it still says 19. And it still says 918. It still says 918. Anyways, this is the length of the hair. As I mentioned, this is loose, deep wave. Did I say that? I think I told you guys this is a loose, deep wave wig. And again, I like the loose, deep wave texture because it's very soft and airy. Let me just run a comb through it. You guys can see when you add a comb, it for sure will fluff up but I like to do that to just you know see you know you don't know what you got so you comb through it and then you guys can see it just fluffed up but it still has that same like wave pattern as on this side which is straight out of the box okay this is what it's looking like obviously it's much fuller but it's still the same texture so it's still nice and airy so it, like looks big and full but when you grab it and hold to hold on to it you guys can see it's realistic um you can go in and add just a little bit of a cream product or you can go with hmm we want to do water do we want to do mousse i'm gonna add a couple pumps of pumps of this the saltaire and i got this from target and this is a moisturizing conditioner so i'm gonna add let's see this is three pumps and i'm gonna take it on dry hair working it from the bottom up this is actually what i use on my natural hair you guys see my natural hair i went ahead it, i didn't wash it i just kind of like unbraided it detangled it with an unbrush and then detangled and then added the mousse for moisture or like wetness and then i added santal bloom for a little bit of extra of moisture cream this is a three pumps towards the bottom three more pumps so about six pumps in total and you guys can see this is kind of a way to add moisture to your hair without adding any water or product or like wet product i should say i am gonna add a little of this to the crown i think the battery exhausted what i was trying to tell you guys i used a lot of this in my natural hair earlier today so i don't really have a lot left so if i need product i probably will have to use more water so i'm gonna see if i can stretch this just to work and just use just a little bit on this side just to kind of like wet that cream that we put in there so that it can saturate the hair properly and not just feel like heavy and let's put it what we can on the ends you guys can see they're nice and fluffy i just wasted good product <laughs> pieces right here that usually will end up frizzy quick and this is the unbrush i don't want to show it to you guys yet i used it earlier Ugh. to detangle my natural hair hi baby how are you it's your bestie it keeps getting hot and cold hot and cold hot and cold that's how it was at school today babe? yeah Okay guys, you guys know I have the T3. I have the blow dryer and the curling iron. You guys have seen these all over social media go viral. But everyone has the white and gold. I have the blue and gold because these were, I guess, limited edition um, through Nordstrom, maybe like during COVID. And blue is one of my favorite colors, specifically navy blue. So I got these, but the only thing I did not like about this is I didn't have attachments. So a while ago I did, I think during the holiday sale with Sephora, I got the attachment for the comb, which I like to to have when straightening my hair but recently i picked this up i want to say like a week or two ago and this is the diffuser attachment you guys know i've been saying i need a diffuser so i did pick up this one and this one is called a soft curl diffuser so i'm gonna try it with this hair and just see okay so this is it and you just attach it on i'm pretty sure i need a little bit of elbow grease so that it doesn't pop off hopefully it's sturdy let's go ahead and diffuse the hair and just get it nice and dry and see what we get So here's a quick before and after. It's not completely dry, but this is as dry as I'm gonna take it. It's nice, it's fluffy, it's still soft, and it has, it's not hard or crunchy by any means. Because I move it around so much, you get a slight little frizz in there, but I kind of like that. But I would say it's about maybe 85, 90% dry on this side. And then on this side, it's still about 65, 70% wet or damp. So you guys can see, it just adds a little bit of volume. If I really, really wanted it to get big, I will go in and just go ahead and diffuse it all the way through. But I'm kind of cool with this. 
So let's pull this side back and then do this side to, you know, catch up. Okay, hopefully I've been recording this whole time because the camera just cut off. If I wasn't, this is the result of the diffuse. I think it was recording and it just cut off. I don't know, that was weird. But I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace. This is what the hairline came out looking like. I did just take my edge brush and kind of comb it out because you guys know we did add a little bit of edge control, but we added to the base, not to the length of the hair. That way it can remain like with movement and kind of like a little bit of fluff. And this is what it should look like or something like it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tint the lace. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pack it in well not pack it in let's do it sparse because it is darker so it can possibly create like a shadow along the hairline like a cast a darker cast and we don't want that we want it to melt like skin and I think that looks really good if anything I have a shade lighter and you can go in and flip the brush around and kind of pack this in between this is more my skin tone and it has a little bit more of a color to it opposed to just being like chocolate or darker and I think that looks humming Amazing. You can even hit it with like a little setting spray or like hairspray. I'll show you guys. This is like the Bedhead Black Sold Hairspray. You add that in and it kind of will, just like with your makeup, when you set your makeup, it'll kind of like take away any like powder look or cast. That pretty much does the same thing where I just kind of want to take away that cast. And then this here is a cream. I'm going to take the darker side, which they kind of come out the same. So you can kind of just take a little bit of both. And I'm just going to put it in. It's a cream, but it's a thicker cream foundation, so it will cover anything like if you had knots or anything like that. We don't need it for that. We just need it for the color. Then I'm going to take what's left on the powder side from doing the hairline and kind of use that to set that in place. You can give a little shake, a little bounce. You guys can see we are done. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Just have a few flyaways from my lashes. Isn't she lovely? Now, this is the finished result, ladies and gentlemen. I think she came out super gorgeous. One thing we skipped is the dynamic duo, and because we skipped it, I feel like I'm getting flyaways in my face a lot of times that wax stick with that hot, hot comb will snatch all of this back and there will be no sparse hair but I love how soft and you know just feminine this one looks it gives like a boho vibe where it's just nice it's like hippie it's like boho it's like what you should be wearing in the spring and summertime with your cutoff shorts and your flip flops I love this look on me the kids are screaming a little bit downstairs let me not interrupt them I suppose and the fun time this here is the packaging from Eunice you guys know I love this this fuchsia it's just called fuchsia color and inside you did get a bunch of goodies it's nice and like filled up so let me share so this here is number one and this is kind of important you guys know we have the self-adhesive attached here whenever you wash this wig because I've had the opportunity to wash a few of these wigs when I wash a wig like this you can literally take your fingers or you can take like your same tweezers and you can lift that piece of adhesive off and it comes off pretty clean so that way you can completely wash your lace and you know restore it refresh it and then they give you a bunch of fresh tape so you can reapply it this is the dust bag that we came in I think you may have seen this already but it's really nice and soft great quality from there they gave us this little goodie bag and inside you do get your HD wig caps and this is like the Eunice private label this is their brand of wig caps so that's pretty tea you also get your melt belt and it says Eunice all over very nice that it color coordinates and also what quarter color coordinates are the press on nails super cute they also included two little unit stickers also super cute as promised they did provide us with the adjustable elastic band you can apply this to your wig and that way it will fit a little bit more snug and you won't need to like bind it down we didn't need to bind it down anyway but this is just an extra little bit of security and they did give us an extra pack of wig caps underneath that we did get a robe i already got one of these with a recent package from them so i'm going to keep this one inside of the box and i'm going to give this one away to you guys but i love the fact that like your milk belt and like all of your stuff matches all together and you have the robe too i just love that for me and for you guys so it's a problem so here's a little swatch that i want to share with you guys they also included this in my package and i really wanted to share with you guys you guys know this is like a pre everything wig and it does include their trademark by by not technology and here you guys can see they are the ogs of this and you can see through the lace hopefully you can see that that the lace 
is so beautiful it's so thin and the knots are very 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 much realistic and seamless here is just your regular knots on a normal regular wig now of course you can go in and bleach these but a lot of the times when they are thick and like coarse like that whenever you bleach them you can still see the grids really 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 easily so I love the fact that this just gives natural imagine just tinting this ever so lightly to blend with my complexion and how just flawless and seamless this will look hence how we got such an amazing result with this wig whereas with this we can still make anything fly this kind of will give you a tussle so definitely if you're looking for quality this is definitely a great option okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check this one out there is a direct link in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches